Why did I never review a Mega Man? This was like the number one request and still is with my customers. I think I'm like in denial. I just don't want to review it. Although this app saved my life. Or these type of apps, I would say. Hello everyone, my name is Andrew from ecomexpert.io but you already knew that and this week we're here for another Shopify app review video and we are looking at Buddha Mega Menu by Buddha Apps. Mega Menu apps are quite fantastic because a lot of people request this and depending on what type of Mega Menu you want, it can become rather difficult to code it and to keep it very customizable. So these apps are definitely, uh, have a really big plus side if it's the good one. So this is, maybe this is your fit, maybe not. But a menu, Mega Menu comes in about three plans, I think from $10, $20 and a free plan. Um, and then what else do you need to know? Oh, yes. They have a 4.7 out of 5 reviews out of about 800 reviews. And let's go see if this app is right for you. First of all, before I continue, do not forget to like and subscribe. So if you haven't done it already, hit that subscribe button right now because it means the world to me. So right now. So, okay, cool, the app is installed and we are welcome with this plan picker page. Uh, three plans are available, the Mega Plan for $10 a month, the Mega Zen for 20 bucks a month, and of course, a free plan. We will start off with just the free plan. So click on the blue button right here that says choose the free plan. Oh, we didn't accept the terms and conditions, so let's go back. It should be at the end of this form, but I can't find it. Maybe it's the best thing to contact support and see how they respond. So they are available via email. All right, uh, email is sent and they reach back to me in just one minute. So this is a textbook example of fantastic support. Chapeau, people. They say we need to uninstall and install the app again. So, all right, uh, we will do it again and see if it makes a difference. The same process and we are on the plan picker again. This is not great since there is no options for terms and condition. We write to customer support again and we will be back to you as soon as we have a result. All right, half an hour later, uh, the problem got resolved. The problem was actually on our side because we're dumb. Um, <laughs> no, but actually I left the uh, ad blocker on and it was working in the background and it was messing it up. So if you have your ad blocker, make sure to disable it for, for these steps. Customer support was really great and we are back to the same plan picker page. But this time we have an option to accept the terms and conditions. Exciting. Uh, I never thought I got so excited about terms and conditions. Uh, quickly check the box and choose the free plan. All right, cool. By the way, why do we only review free plans? is because we have to have 500 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now and then we can start reviewing paid plans. Okay, so we are on the app dashboard. The dashboard looks simple uh, with not many items, but it will probably change once we make a mega menu. If you don't know where to start, you can always check the video tutorials in the bottom right corner. So let's start making our first menu and we will go back to the dashboard once we finish the setup. So click on add item here and a new window pops up. All right, the first step is to choose the icon of your item. You can use this field right here to search for uh, the icon. Plenty of options are available as you see. Uh, we will go with a smile icon, Aww. Aww. and we will name it home because home is where the smile is. All right, for the link, you can choose between homepage, collection, all collections, products, all products, page, blogs, blog posts, search page, and web addresses. All right, you got the point. For our first item, we will choose the home page and enable the countdown. The countdown is only available to the page plan, all right, but we can preview how it would look. We are back to the dashboard and now let's make sub menus. My idea is to make four menu items, each of them with the different sub menu type. However, hover over the menu item and the two additional options will appear. Ta -da. From here, you can delete the menu item or add a sub menu. As you mentioned before, four types are available, uh, three, simple, tabbed, and contact. Let's choose the three and click on the add item here. Similar templates, but this time only name and link. Let's fill this in real quick and add seven different items. It would be nice if we could do this in bulk, but this is all right. 
We added seven different items, and if you hover over the items in the submenu, there is an option to add even more items under the existing ones. Also from here, you can change the order of the items, edit or delete them. The next step is to make another menu item. So click on add item here and the same process as before. Basically this item we will leave without the icon and we will name it a page. For the link part, let's play a little and add an external link. Choose web address in the next field. We will write, we will write obviously ecomexperts.io, you knew that. Click OK and let's choose simple as a submenu type. Oh, all right, the simple submenu is not available on the free plan, okay, but still we can preview how it's gonna look. Hover over the page item and now we have an option to add the widget. Let's click on it and the same template appeared with the name and link. For the name, let's write bestseller and for the link, we can choose between the link list, link list with images, featured collections, featured product, featured blog post, featured custom, best sellers, newest product. Uh, we will go with bestsellers obviously and click on all right. I mean, okay. Uh, let's add a few more maybe link lists in the feature product. I mean, Guys, this is actually quite entertainment. I could do this all day. It feels like I'm playing a game or something. Our page item is all done and we can proceed to the next item. Uh, let's again click on add an item here and fill this really fast since it is nothing new. Now it is time to choose the submenu type and we are going to choose tabbed. All right, tab is not available on the free plan. So hover over the new item and click on add tab. Nothing new here, so again, we will quickly fill this in so you don't get bored before we actually finish making this mega menu. Well, this is interesting. For each submenu item, you can add additional widgets. Okay, guys, we are on our last menu item and it is the contact submenu. Quickly add an item here and in this section, you should probably add your contact us page. But uh, on this demo shop, we don't have it. So we will add a link to our website. Now let's choose our last submenu type, which is contact. And the contact is also not available in the free plan. All right. So this leaves us with only three. Well, that's not bad for the free plan, to be honest. But all right, the form is automatically generated and it looks nice. So let's save this menu by clicking on this blue button here. And this is how the menu would look like. So let's click on add and design the mega menu button. And here a new window appears with a desktop, mobile and tablet preview. All right, from here we can add and design our mega menu. Let's click on add a mega menu. And from the drop down menu, choose where you want your mega menu to appear and then click on save. The Design tab offers some basic customizations like colors and fonts, and that's basically it. Let's finally go to our website and see how it looks in real time. We are on our demo shop and our menu actually looks really good. Good job, Buddha apps. We got a beautiful mega menu without a single line of code and all that for free. Customer support, like you guys noticed, is really amazing. You can reach them via email only though, but I think they will respond uh, within a few seconds. So it almost feels like live chat. And also the creation of the menu felt like playing some kind of game or something like that. Uh, the design of the app is very user friendly. All right, guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gives you a better insight whether or not this app is for you. We will do more mega menu app reviews and other videos so you can compare them side by side. Make sure to also check out all our other app reviews. We have a bunch of different teams. And more importantly, make sure to kind of interact with me because I'm talking here alone with my camera and sometimes Sandra or Kay or my team is helping me out. But some interaction on the comment page would be fantastic and much appreciated. See you in another video, guys. Ciao.